I think it's, uh, yeah, pretty sweet that, like, actually, you type in what you want to do and any capture it. Anytime you sign up to anything, like, I make the joke about the spinning dick, but it actually is kind of <laughs> like that, do. that you actually say that, I love McDonald's. Like, just anything like that, <laughs> by actually typing that yeah. I like this product or I want to do this. Like, imagine, like, oh, well, we're talking about big brands here. Let's talk about small websites. Like, the next one I'm about to talk about is a Twitter advertising thing. Mm. Let's say that I love advertising on Twitter at da 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 and that's how you prove you're not a robot. Yeah. Like, Damn, that is just genius because you are literally <laughs> typing in and then by yeah. the very act of typing, you are making believe. It's going to be something to watch. I'd like to invest in them if they're actually on the market, but you can't. Yeah, well, you it depends how well they can advertise on to go onto it. And you don't have the money. Well, problem. Dude, I want to invest in fucking Facebook when they have their IPO. Oh, it must be Christ. soon. It must be like a year they are going to away. make a buttload. I don't know what they'd do with the money though, I don't see where they can expand. That's what I said, they should just, like, Google should, you know that, that $26 billion cash, Google just fucking buy a Zuckerberg out. Nah. I think I was like, come on, Zuckerberg, he's young, you know. I, I, I like Zuckerberg actually He's susceptible to a hooker he's... and crack addiction. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> I'm sure young. he is. <laughs> he's $26 billion, he'll buy, you know, 10 hookers a week. And... Now, well, see, I, 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 <laughs> as much as, like, Zuckerberg's an interesting guy that I've, I've said things about, I've said it about, but I, I'm starting to get this uh, weird sort of admiration for him that he's, he's doing the cool, yeah. going the cool shit. That's kind of cool. Um, introverted geek ruling the world. Well, that's it, he's introverted. <laughs> we need a rock star geek. Need a more rock star geek. What the hell's happened? Where's our rock stars? Playing guitar. Make him. Right? You're the rock star geek. Go. Down, 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 down. Apparently that's a shocker. No, no, that's oh, not a shocker. Is that a shocker? That's a shocker. Next Sorry story. Spock from next Reddit. story. Next story. It's all right. We're going into a bad place. You're uh, boring our viewers. <laughs> really? All Man. four of them. Wow. Hi, John, Larry, Ben, and Kate. Kate. <laughs> okay. My my last story is a, a, a site I stumbled upon called uh, auctionfortweets.com. And it's uh, it's pretty cool actually. It's uh, they, you've heard stories in the in the web and all of that about people promoting on Twitter and like selling their tweets and all of that. Uh, there yeah, was yeah. that one person who got like twenty thousand dollars or was it fifty? I think it was twenty. <laughs> twenty thousand like dollars for 10, some. 15. Ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. It was that uh, celebrity. Yeah. Chick. That Someone and she was uh, saying that she likes some type of shoes or something. I don't remember. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Anyway, they were advertising on Twitter and they were saying they pretty much just used that brand name in it and they said that yeah I really like this and they got buttload of cash. It was in the tens of thousands. It might have just been 10,000, but it's still in the tens of thousands. Anyway, this one that they're trying to automate it, and by saying that you want to earn some money by uh, tweeting out to your followers, you put it on here and say, hey, I'm willing to sell my uh, a tweet, depending on what you want to pay for it. And so it's an auction system that someone wants to say, oh, I want to get this tweet out to say 20,000 people. If you have 20,000 followers, you jump on there. You say, oh, okay, I'll pay two bucks. And you make two bucks from sending out a tweet. Like, cool. that's pretty cool. Like, I think this could work really, really well. I'm a, I'm, I'm a big it's fan. It's essentially bringing advertising back to the individual. Yeah, so that's they it. Can yeah. They, they've got the followers, yeah. they've got it there, and then you just you just do it. I mean, you get all of the big people who are doing Twitter, and, like, you just do it now and then. But, I mean, you have you, some of those people on there that have, like, the million followers. You yeah. post on there to get a tweet out to all of that. Fuck. You've actually got a lot of influence. Yeah. And that's what I think they're really... Um, buying and selling here is influence. Because so you can say, I can get this message out to a million people, even if it's only there briefly. A million people, you may get, say, 10,000 people interested, maybe 100 people actually visit it, but that's worth, like, a few bucks. Yeah. So, yeah, it could be kind of cool. I'm, uh, go I want to watch this site and see how it goes. It depends how they market themselves, of course, and how it goes through. Well, the site looks but, like um, shit. So. Oh, it does. It, <laughs> it, it, it's pretty embarrassing so far, Where but I haven't actually looked there. Like... Um, I'm not oh, sure exactly. God. Yeah, I know, they've got even a... They need a. They, they stole need a, that off Fortune. Mm. The whole like flare out things. It's not. It's not positive. Um, <laughs> but but it's, there's, a, it's, there's a ton of Twitter advertisers. Like there are advertising but companies this, out there. there. Well, this is I think is a is a good idea how to start that you did an auction model that goes up, but it needs to reach the mainstream, of course. But yeah. you, you get a few people in here that it would be pretty cool. I yeah. think that that could actually work really well. Spending a, a few bucks to get a message out to a million plus people. Yeah, I'm keen. That's why. Yeah, well, depends Check us on out. The, the return. Well, that's it. You have to monitor. The Roy. Yeah. Auctionfortweets.com. Roy. Hey, yeah, my story. Um, do, do any of you guys remember ICQ? I've never what used the fuck's it. ICQ. <laughs> oh, yeah, the messenger. I, I've literally never used it. Like, it was mm. before my fucking time. 
I used it. I remember in grade eight being part of the cool kids. I was like, oh, you yeah. used ICQ? Yeah, briefly. I've never used it. Like very, very. It was like my first thing was, just, on was Messenger. Messenger was after ICQ. It for was, me. Yeah. Anyway, AOL apparently owned them. Why the fuck is AOL still around? Anyway, but guess how much they sold them for? Twenty bucks. You'd think, yeah, like, who the fuck uses ICQ? Like, I see, the only thing ICQ is, is used for these days is the whole just sharing pirated content, really, from what I hear. No. Really? I do not know. They're, they're just an MSN clone, aren't they? They're just instant messaging. What am I? I'm thinking of. Uh, I'm just thinking of Usenet. In IRC. What's IRC? IRC is internet, yeah, that's internet relay chat. That's yeah, okay, I'm thinking of IRC. Very Sorry. different. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they sold it for $187.5 million. Jesus. And that makes Tap no dancing. fucking Price. sense. $187.5 million yeah, for this, ICQ. This paradigm is dead. Wow. It's not going anywhere. And I think that they were saying, um, uh, it, was, it was actually bought up by the, the Russian guys who invested in Facebook. Jesus. Weird. So the rumor is that what they're probably going to do is just throw a whole shitload of ads into to promote the all their new products. To promote their yeah, their products and just you know anytime you send out a message or whatever, it's just going to add a little ad in there as well. <laughs> well, because see that that is actually a, a a proper thing for it. That I mean, looking at ICQ, that you've actually got this reach into tons of people who aren't really that savvy in the web. You can actually yeah. direct who they're going to go after. Maybe it's strange. <laughs> mm. I don't get it. I, I, I really don't think instant messaging is going to be based on the desktop anymore, but downloading an application yeah, no, just no, seems no. silly. That I mean, no. you look at Facebook chat and you look at everything that yeah, that's yeah, it's funny. Yeah. I wonder if they've still only got three people on there. Like, they only had three people last time. Yeah, I think they're changing really... it up a bit. They, yeah. they, there was one thing I saw, it was a plugin for Facebook called, like, Clobber or something. Oh, like group that, chat, yeah. Yeah, group chat. Yeah, I saw that, uh, yeah. that, that. That was kind of cool. Um, what do you think, like, where do you think the whole instant messaging is going? Like, Oh, I think just wherever you are at the time, that if you want to talk about, I, I like just say you're on that article right there, mm. and you want to talk about it. I think you should be able to just click a button and actually start talking to people about it. Yeah, discussing it. So like a plugin, I guess. Which maybe, is, or maybe one of, one of the badges, like you know, how you have the buzz, the tweet, the Facebook, it. Maybe have okay. a badge actually say, "Hey, chat about it." Okay. Maybe. Ooh, that could be kind of cool. I think mean, you're just talking about anything on the web that's there, who's there right now. I'm sure they've already got those plugins, but it hasn't taken. It, it, it hasn't. It, I think it'd need to go through something like Facebook or Twitter yeah. or something. Like, cause it'd be cool if, like, I go on this tech article right now. It's like if there's another 10, 20 people that are on here and want to talk about it, mm. like I could just click one button, pops off a thing, you know, light box, and you start talking. And you're just like, boom, 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 boom. yeah, what's up, blah, blah, blah. This like, yeah. is cool, blah, blah, yeah. blah, cool. And I mean, that, that should that really happen with, like, the, yeah. especially as the, as it goes on, like, yeah, all yes. things that wouldn't work, but, um, new stuff, that yeah. any, any new bit of content, you should actually be saying, hey, let's talk about this, but then you have, like, all the different things about there that, oh, you'd get spams on that, but they, they can be worked yeah. out, I think. Well, there's another business model if you want that, take it. Fucking run with it. Yeah, damn straight, go crazy. Like, a tiny little <laughs> plug-in, like, all these fucking, the, the, the like plug-in, the buzz plug-in, mm. the retweet plug-in, the dig plug-in. Just make another, yet another plugin, like the Disgust Comments plugin. Mm. Just make another one where you click it, it then pops up a simple light box. You can then talk to anyone who's also on that site mm. in real time, just basic chat. Link it, it back, well. save it, um, make profiles, have you know, link it into your Facebook, link it into your Twitter. You could do a lot of stuff with that. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Anyway, I think that's about it. Oh, you're done. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, that's been yeah. week 13 of High 45. Week 13. Week 14? Episode 14. Which one? Episode 14. Episode 13? Oh no. <laughs> Numbers, who cares? Yeah. Anyway, it's uh, been <laughs> the week ending the 2nd of the 5th, 2010. Yep. So, uh, I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. And it's been High 45. We'll catch you guys next time. Woo! Send us some comments. Please. Do it. We love do, you. Do it. Where's my remote? Mm -hmm.